Hello, welcome to this uh, new uh, free FEM course. In this case, we'll be uh, focused in civil engineering. Um, thank you for attending this uh, course uh, presentation. I will uh, explain you how is the course uh, organized. Well, there are three main um, contents, which are uh, first of all the online platform. It will be uh, the ICA EEC uh, online platform. Uh, you already, for sure, have received uh, the information to to enter. It's a completely free free course, and it the it will be a self based uh, course you can uh, follow it at your own uh, pace and you can see and download anytime uh, these slides videos and we are we will set up some webinars to um, well to solve all your questions and, and doubts and be, uh, besides that uh, a finite element analysis software will be included as well. Uh, in this case, uh, Civil Fem powered by by Mark. It's a robust, accurate uh, commercial program, and you will have the opportunity to uh, well to try the new 2020 version. And of course, you will always have uh, a full a full support from uh, our Civil Fem team. But well, I will. Uh, just uh, explain you uh, on these three uh, parts uh, well, in a brief uh, way. Well, with, what is the uh, International Computer and Aided Engineering Education Center? Well, it's an online uh, platform uh, and we share our, our expertise uh, through uh, online courses of different uh, FEA uh, finite element analysis software. It can be uh, ANSYS or Patron or CivilFem. Uh, we have many many type of, of, of software and of course with very interesting uh, prices. And behind uh, there is always a, a professional and experienced uh, teaching staff. Well, uh, what about the uh, the, con the content of this uh, uh, course. Well, you have a uh, 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 first uh, uh, FEA introduction. Uh, what is the finite element analysis? Uh, what it does? The typical workflow? Um, how to define the problem you want to solve? Um, just to know what 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 is or what is not important uh, in the analysis okay um, these uh, concepts as, as units to be consistent or not consistent you will see that in the in the, in the software okay um, then you have to prepare your your model which is the well, what what analysis type you want to perform linear or non-linear it will be a just structural or or or, or, or coupled or or the, it will be uh, just the sta static or transient or dynamic okay uh, the geometry uh, can be performed in the software or can be imported from a, from another CED uh, software uh, if you want to perform symmetry or not then uh, include materials, linear, non-linear, the cross sections of the beams or section of the shells. Uh, all, all, every, everything uh, must be prepared in the in the model. Then uh, the mesh will include what type of an element to to, to include, uh, or the quality, or the, the higher or lower order, uh, or triangles, quadrilaterals, or in the case of 
uh, if this is the case of uh, of volume uh, solid modeling if you want to use uh, tetrahedrals or hexahedrals if you want to refine or or, or your your mesh so set it a finer finer mesh or coarse mesh okay then uh, the loading uh, you can apply all type of loads you will see that, that in the in the software including uh, pseudo static loads uh, transient loads uh, uh, spectrum oh, uh, it's it's very complete and a boundary condition that's this very uh, very important uh, chapter because uh, it will give you the well the support rigidity of of your of your model and depending on that you will always have some uh, well, the typical problems of the of results with a very always are related with the correct boundary conditions uh, applied. Um, you can ha set your fixed or pin supports, or set if you want to uh, set a, a um, well a, a foundation using springs, uh, including friction. Okay, you will see that all these options. Later, you uh, once uh, you have your your model uh, created, you, the next step is just the solution to solve the model. Um, if it depending on if it's linear or non-linear, you will have to set different options. If not, you just click solve and, and that's it. But if it's non-linear, you have to think about the the the, the step functions and convergence uh, options after that just check results always uh, the, uh, check results if uh, the stresses displacements uh, forces and moments the formations uh, or stability or, the, or there are some instability issues you have to uh, check that and uh, always verify ver verify them okay well what about the software you will have uh, a free a free uh, unlimited uh, software which is civil firm powered by mark it's a well-known um, software which use, uses uh, mark as solver and mark is very robust non-linear and very powerful solver from msc uh, software uh, of uh, hexagon group and you will have, uh, besides the unlimited number of nodes in your analysis, you will have all features of the um, expert uh, type, which uh, uh, expert module of uh, the Silf Empowered by Mark, which includes all its features, all all type of non-linearities, and including thermal and seepage analysis. Of course, you have construction processes, geotechnical uh, capabilities, uh, everything will be in included. And uh, the installation will be in your own uh, laptop, in your own uh, computer. It will be local. You will receive, uh, you have to well, to contact the uh, secretariat, secretariat. So we can have your uh, the computer data. Uh, you will have uh, the instructions in the in the platform uh, the license will be uh, free a commercial license during the the, the course it will be uh, more or less uh, a month and after that you can uh, we can always uh, uh, manage an extension uh, uh, period for that uh, commercial license and of course, you will have it, always have the student license uh, perpetual. Okay, so uh, well, we can today uh, we can as an, in the presentation, I can show you uh, how to start with the, the software. Okay, once you open the the software, see with him. Uh, the, the new the new version of civil fem you will see a interface like like this 
you would probably need to uh well first of all you can always have start a new analysis and the first one first window which pop-ups will be this one to select the 2d 3d static transient or modal harmonic uh, buckling and buckling analysis and well the default options are the ones highlighted let's click ok and then maybe you must uh, need to uh, activate some windows to do this just go well as you can see it's all divided by tabs and each tab has different groups okay but the first of all is to activate all these well, the important ones are properties output parameter list and entities okay but you can activate with which other ones which are very important later you uh, will it will be uh, explain that we have other windows which are these ones script editor groups and view they are always well you can of course move your windows as in a, in a dockable way okay you always can, can customize your 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 screen and you can add different the different windows to any to any any part okay it's uh, up to you well the interaction with the with the software can be uh, using uh, the graphical user interface or using scripts of uh python okay if you know python language but uh, of, uh, we will show you how to how to perform analysis using scripts we will have a, a some chapter uh, explaining explaining that okay but well most of the examples uh, as it's a, a beginner course uh, we will be uh, using the graphical user interface but just uh, know that uh, the Python scripts are very, very powerful to automate processes. Well, once you have all your uh, windows activated in the view tab, okay, just well, the, the, the workflow is from left to right. You have your first the, the environment, uh, coordinate systems, the codes and standards to, well, to, for the code verification after the structural analysis. You can change uh, them anytime, and well, impor important thing as well, the type of the type of analysis. You can can be changed uh, here in the drop down list, and very important as well, units that they don't need to be uh, consistent. Okay, by default, you always have uh, the international system units, newtons and meters. But you can always mix, uh, not not only mix, uh, select another another system. But as I told you, we can set a mix of units, and uh, if you want, we can always uh, uh, set, for example, uh, different mixing unit types from different uh, systems. Okay, and later you'll see in examples that we can uh, use different units. Uh, you, you can change the, the units any any time, and and, and use uh, materials with one type of units, the, the dimensions of sections or, or 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 the geometry in another type of units, because later at uh, the end the, in the post process you can uh, see results in your own. Uh, system units okay and geometry as I, as I say you will see that it can be uh, well uh, imported or 
you can use the the you can use the geometry here okay it will be it's very easy to to create the geometry using the grid or or on the fly then uh, you will see the all this in the in the in the examples but he just just wants to show you uh, just uh, uh, a brief presentation of the software uh, all materials uh, they are from different libraries okay by default you will have all the mechanical properties uh, as I told you you can always have get when it, it will get the default default units from from uh, from the from the uh, the units that have been selected but you can always as I told you change them here uh, here okay here you have them for example the uh, young mo modulus okay then the model of, uh, of course you have the the, the library of steel uh, uh, of uh, uh, hot roll shapes shapes you can select them from the library the same for concrete you can de define a typical dimension if not you can define your own your own uh, capture your own uh, section and uh, the next step will be to mesh select different element types uh, the loading solution this the same the same uh, workflow as it, it is explained in the in the theory uh, materials okay so it will be very easy to to follow after solution uh, check results and uh, everything okay this is just to how to open the software and uh, let you know how to uh, well how to uh, move and work with the with the software okay just to uh, let you know that you will have uh, all the time technical support during the, the course uh, you will have uh, all the civil film team behind to solve you any uh, question, any doubt uh, for installation, for uh, any technical issue, uh, of, co of course, you will always have uh, the forum, email, and uh, we can uh, set up some webinars to solve uh, and show you uh, capabilities of the software. So, uh, that's it. Uh, see you in the free course and uh, thank you very much for being enrolled to this uh, interesting course.